I really think that there is a great potential to every one of us to be much, much more than we realize because we are listening all the time to the negative sound of our thoughts and we're following it as if it's the voice of Hashem. But Hashem is good. Hashem is loving. Hashem is kind. And the voice of positivity is the voice of our souls. And the negative voice that comes from inside our brain, inside the noise and, and, and panic of, of our brain, is the voice of our trauma. It's those warning signs that are standing up in an automatic pattern of rejecting anything because like we're so traumatized, we're so burnt, so hurt, so so broken, so so alone, so scared to experience. For an example, I spoke with a student of mine yesterday and I told him that I see in him that he is so scared so scared, so terrified to be hurt while loving his wife. He's so afraid that she will reject him while loving her that he picks up fights with her, that he makes problems with her. And she's like, she's loving. She's in a good place with him. But he's terrified from childhood that things will go wrong and that he will be hurt while his heart is open wide. So every time that things become good, he's destroying them. He's ruining them. And the reason for that is because he's afraid that if now he will stay nice, she will walk away and she will back off on him. And, 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 and he cannot stand that. So he rather not to have shalom bite. He rather to suffer. He rather to fight. He rather to be the reason for all the problems than to feel even for one moment that really he is not loved while loving. Like he does not want to open himself to be hurt. And I can understand it. I can relate to it. I can like only have compassion for a person with a feeling like that. But it doesn't make it true. It doesn't make his wife to be that one that hurt him in the past. Maybe it was his mother that hurt him. Maybe it was his girlfriend that hurt him. Maybe it was like someone else in life that really, really hurt him badly. But now because that he is counting on his patterns, on the automatic reactions of his thoughts, because of that, he finds himself in that place that he is canceling and breaking opportunities for growth, for success, for happiness, for true happiness, for accepting the love of his wife, of his soulmate, of his soul, to enjoy the illumination. And to live like that is not to live with Hashem. Because Hashem is in the present time, and He and us, we live in the past. We live based on the past life experience. Instead, for living with Hashem, you need to ask yourself in the present time, now, now Hashem, what do you want from me? Now Hashem, what's going on in my life? Now what is what is the reality? To seek for the truth, not to seek for what am I scared of? What am I terrified of? What going to be? What could have happened? What might happen? What can be so horrible? And, and, and on and on. And, and to be chased and to be led by our fears and by our trauma. And that is to live in a lie. Because the fact that it happened in the past is true. But the fact that it is happening in the present time, it's a lie. It's not happening. You should be careful. You should be aware, awake. You should be aware. You should be mm, mm, suspicious even. Kabdeo v'chashdeo. Respect him and suspect him. You need to be aware and sober and, and wise. But you don't need to live based on your fear and to be led by them.